day will not be complete without a keynote speaker. Now, to inspire us and give us a take-home message that we will never forget is a serial entrepreneur who currently runs six successful businesses. He has a trading company, a digital social media com agency, a paralegal and charity company firm, online office supply store, and a standalone conference and event center. His key to success is to always lead from the front and always bring in enterprises that have never been seen before here in Dubai. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the CEO of Price Global, Mr. Vishal Mahtani. so wonderful. I'm not very techno technologically advanced, so I don't have anything up there on the screen. So I'm just going to come from my heart and tell you what I see and how I feel. So today is the 29th of February 2016. It's a very unique day because the 29th of February only comes once in four years. So we should all be blessed that we're here and we have a chance to be here on this day. And something that I always say to other entrepreneurs when I meet them is, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the frying pan. Because we are in the world's most vibrant city, which is Dubai. Competition is fierce. Money is running out. There's a cash crunch. There's taxes and uh, government regulations coming in. And business is going to get tougher. So if you're really not able to handle the heat, it's better you get out of the fire. Because every entrepreneur starts with similarities and differences. Similarity is every one of us who start, start with thinking we're going to become a multi-millionaire. We're going to become rich. We're going to become famous. The difference is, a couple of us end up there, the rest of us end up completely somewhere else. So if you're really not up to speed with what's going on in the markets and you know, sort of understanding what's really happening on a day-to-day -day basis, you need to be extremely careful on where your business is going. So constant monitoring, of course, is a part. Now the fact that we're all here in Knowledge Village means we all obviously want to learn. But it's not, especially for the students who are here or the interns who are here, it's not about learning what you learn today, getting a degree and walking out of college. It's about constant learning. Because the market is changing every single day for us here, guys. And I'll give you a super example of a company called Nokia. Does everyone remember Nokia? So Nokia was the world's number one manufacturer for handset telephones. And the company evolved and grew and grew to the point that every one of us had a phone called Nokia. Today, I don't think anybody has a phone called Nokia. In fact, the company called Nokia doesn't exist. Well, not in the handphone market anymore, at least. This means they were not constantly evolving to the market needs. They were not constantly training. They were not constantly moving on with what the market needed. And a company called Samsung and Apple just came and took over. And obviously, today, every one of us has either a Samsung or an Apple. So the key here, guys, is ensuring that we are learning on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not about what we learn here, what we learn in our schools and colleges and go out. But it's more about what we learn on a day-to-day -day basis as we're moving on. And that is extremely important. Anyway, I will talk a bit about myself, um, how I reached where I reached and where I've come from. Um, I have a bachelor's in business administration from King's College London, a master's in economics from George Washington in the US. Um, came to Dubai in 2007, when, of course, everything was lovely, hunky-dory, beautiful Dubai, everyone was making money by the day, not even by the month, not by the week, by the day. There was this complete property flipping market where people were buying properties one morning and selling it off the next morning and making money. So I came to Dubai in the absolute what we call the golden era. And obviously I've seen Dubai from there to where it has reached today. I was part of the absolute recession that came in in 2009, 2010 where we went from way up there to way down there. We saw hundreds and thousands of cars being parked at the airport and hundreds of thousands of people just leaving and fleeing the city because they could not pay their debts. Now these are the entrepreneurs that I'm talking about who did not plan their businesses because they got so tied up in the day-to-day -day running that business was only about survival for them. They started with the thought that they become successful and famous. They ended up with basic survival and having to run away or having to disappear. So uh, my journey started somewhere there and we started with our first company which is called Office Direct. Now, Something that I always do is I ensure that I try and be the first in the market. 
So in 2008, online stationery, there were a lot of stationery shops in there about Dubai, and there was this entire advent of the new Dubai coming out, which was the media cities, the internet cities, Knowledge Village, uh, JLT, Sheikh Zayed Road. And there was actually no real office supply stores in there, except for the small grocery stores that kept a couple of pens and papers. And there was no online stationery business at that point of time in Dubai. So basically modeling on a company from the UK, which is called Viking Direct, we started the absolute first online stationery store in Dubai. Currently we have over a thousand customers and we, as far as I know, we, we're the number one in the market. I, I don't really know of any other competition even to date in this sector that we are in. There are a number of other websites, but I don't really believe that they're competitors and, you know, with what we're doing. From there on, I went on to go into the retail sector because, of course, as somebody earlier said, Dubai is all about brands. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's open a couple of stores. We opened one in the outlet mall, one in Reef Mall, a store called Nithya. We started working with brands. The mistake I made here, because we had to shut this down three years later, is I did not realize that I, as much as Dubai is about brands, Dubai is not a cheap city to work in. So when we're looking at rents in malls, when we're looking at staff expenses, when we're looking at things like electricity and whatever that go into running a business, we need to be looking at volumes and margins that obviously I did not foresee. And this was part of my ongoing learning and we had to shut this business down three years later. And from there on, um, we have a paralegal firm called Second Chance. Second Chance is exactly as its name. We actually help people who are in jail who need to go home. They don't have money for a simple ticket to go home because they're obviously stuck there. They've been there for a year, two years, three years. For simple things like credit card debts, bank loans, etc., etc. So what we actually do is we work with the jail authorities very closely and provide them one-way tickets to go back home once they finish their jail sentence. And at the same time, whilst we are doing what we need to do as a social responsibility, we're also a full-fledged paralegal firm which helps people if they need to get out of jail, if, you know, in case they need to do, mostly on the criminal front. Um, you may have seen our little flyers and our booth upstairs. It's called the Price Global Conference and Event Center. Now, you have a conference and event center in Knowledge Village. You have a conference and event center in Business Village, which are both part of government of Dubai. You have a lot of conference and event centers in individual hotels. We are the first and only standalone conference and event center in the city. So again, an absolute first that has never happened in the city is something we've started up. Um, we actually opened a couple of days ago and we're moving with it. We have rooms that start from eight people going all the way up to 80 people. And obviously, um, a lot cheaper than hotels and actual conference and event centers and we're moving with that. We've got a uh, digital advertising agency called Client Digital. We work with uh, SMS, email, social media, things like that. Now this agency also came about because we have so much of our own in-house work that we needed some something in-house to actually handle our own social media. So as part of our own group, we then started uh, sort of selling our services outside. Um, and going by this, we obviously moved on and on, um, and obviously this is where, where I've reached in a matter of nine years of being in Dubai. It's been a wonderful journey. A lot of people ask me, what keeps you ticking? The one thing that does keep me ticking is I absolutely enjoy what I do. A lot of people call me a workaholic, but I actually say, I don't think it's a workaholic, I really enjoy what I do. So for me, it's more like a passion than actual working. Next question comes in, so what's the next big venture? And we're actually working on a venture to do with rent -a cars something very, very different from what is in the market now. I mean, rent -a cars are a very standardized business, but we're actually working on a venture where we're going to have rent -a cars for a quarter of the cost that most other rent -a cars are doing. It should be up and out soon, and I'm sure all of you will hear about it. Wishing you all the best. Thank you very much.